know me, I'm a rapping ass nigga. I don't be rapping for no rapping ass niggas. They want features, but I ain't go back to back with your funny words. Get back, I'll have to back to back niggas. It's the guy G Holy rapping Gholy.com, and right now we're gonna get in a good old Tom McDeezy. You know what I mean? Fighter. Heads up, I just reacted to the audio. I think I'm gonna just throw that away because when I reacted to the audio, I said cool, I said whatever I said, but like now the video is out. It's like, why would I do the audio when I could do the video? So now we here. If you want to see me react to anything, anything at all, I'm always in the whip and I'm always playing some shit. It's the guy G Holy. Welcome to me. Let's get it. Bottom of the night, up against the odds, running out of time, only got one shot. When it's really do or die, when your back's against the wall, when you're fighting for your life, do you believe in you or not? I'm a believer. I said this on the audio, so let me just say this. This is the part of the song that I don't like. If it's a part of the song that I least enjoy, it's the part where it turns into a pop song. Cause I'm not into pop rap. You know what I mean? Like I gotta like look, this whole thing is, you know, I'm a believer, I believe in you, and you know what I mean? I do the same type thing. Like for instance, I got a song called Dream Team Three. It'll be out uh what? This twenty second of this month. I say something similar. I say, um, this for everybody who feel like, no, I say this is for everybody who feel like they, something about being a champion. Oh, so this is for everybody who feel like they ain't champ, they ain't a champion. And if you can see it, then it can't be done. Something about, something to that d degree. But I'm doing it not only in a like totally different tone and way, which is cool. Everybody got their own tone, texture, shit like that. But, it's over super hip hop drums and in a way where the people who I'm trying to reach directly will be affected the most by what I'm saying. This is for his demographic. Tom McDonald's demographic is pop rap. You know what I'm saying? Some people call it white rap, but like people get on me like that's why people think I'm a racist. People think I'm a racist because I just acknowledge that it's certain sounds that certain people react to. And it's more, it's, it's sometimes it's nationality, sometimes it's race, sometimes it's demographic. People just draw to more to sounds that resonate with where they at already. It's not a whole bunch of people from my neighborhood, personally, who will listen to a pop type hook with the pop claps like, Ch -ch -ch -ch, and really be able to digest it in a way that they do a little baby. A, a little dirt this one that one you get what i'm saying so that's what i mean when i say that and all eminem fans they like kind of got that wrong it's not about that listen you can't help if you're from a certain area you can't help if you're from a certain era you can't help if you're a certain class of person and so when the sounds resonate with you, it's just going based off of where you, and sometimes, in a, like I said, environmental, sometimes it's race, sometimes nationality. And um, yeah, this don't resonate that hook specifically, not the messaging, not the rhymes, not the bars. That hook with that sound don't resonate with me. I'm talking about the audio more than the video because the video is just he crashed he got into a wreck he's in church he's going in there things are happening in the video we get that but um you see the difference between see the the verse got like hip-hop drums to make it like a rap song you get what i'm saying the hook is a little different listen to the listen to the sounds on the hook versus the sounds on the verse it's like almost day and night and that's the way most pop rap songs work. You get what I'm saying? I can name a bunch of uh, Eminem songs that's like that. I can name a bunch of, uh, you know, just a lot of people. And it's not just white rappers. It's like a lot of people. People go for the pop audience but still want to be a rapper. You know what I'm saying? And like, 
that's what if you listen to Griselda all day, that's probably not your, you know what I'm saying? That's probably going to turn you off in a sense. McDonald in church doing this shit like the fuck like the that shit is hilarious my nigga say this before the drop that's so true what he just said about the instagram post and believing in yourself listen let me tell you what social media did social media took the don't you know how you you have a between your what's on your mind and what come out your mouth there's a filter there this is your mouth this is the filter this is your mind going this way is you know, the natural flow, right? Facebook lives in this middle space where you feel like you're saying what's on your mind, but you don't have the filter that you would have had it came out of your mouth. Because half the 99% of the stuff people say on Facebook, they wouldn't say in real life. So all I just say that to say or wouldn't say to anybody in real life. I just say that to say if somebody is posting constantly about getting over, getting by, they're not just being motivational to the people who are hearing what they're saying. They are actually going through it themselves. That's why that Tom McDonald line is so important. Just know that if somebody is constantly on the wavelength where they're uplifting people, they're the ones that need the uplifting. Remember, the middle space. This is where their mind is. Don't you know how you go to Facebook and it's the gray, it got like the gray letters that's like you could type right over them, they just disappear? It don't say, what do you want to post? It don't say, um, who who do you love? It don't say, what did you listen to this music? It say, what's on your mind? I believe. I'm a believer that that's what it says. You get what I'm saying? So just know the person going through it the most is the person that's projecting that because that's the positive way to deal with it. The negative way to deal with it would be like, shout out to Tom McDonald. He's a positive person. He's dealing with it in a positive way. The negative way would be fuck the world. You know what I'm saying? And I, I think, you know what? Now that I think about it, that's what's so different about Tom McDonald's imagery. I just figured it out. He's like the Derek Grace to a rap. He looks like a white gangbanger. <laughs> like, but who he is is. A uplifting spirit like I'm just realizing like the like like looking at him and seeing a contract like why is why is he so powerful in just looking at him not even just his imagery and videos but like just looking at him is powerful it's because he's the angel that looks like a demon really a fire.
ain't no fuck that. He dropped eleven eighteen. I drop eleven twenty two. I got some of the same themes in my shit. But go get Tom McDonald shit first. Four days later, fuck with me. That's what I'm saying. Shout out to Nova Rockefeller. I've come to learn that that's the girlfriend to do all this shit. My girlfriend helped me with all my shit. I mix all her records, shit like that. Cool. I love it. Um, yeah, that song in particular uh, was less rap for me. You know what I'm saying? More pop. Wasn't necessarily for me, but it uh, once again, like, when you, when you can rap and your messaging is good, it's hard to have a bad song. So I'm not going to sit here and tell you it's a bad song. Um, the video was like, I like the video. See, like, Tom McDonald fans might think the video is underwhelming. Because, like, they used to, like, a whole bunch of shit happen in the video. I personally like the more plain Tom McDonald video. Where it's just, like, you know what I mean? The, 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 the imaging is a little more straight to the point. Instead of, like, you know, subliminal and, you know, things happening. Where, now, nah, the rap is already powerful. We don't need the imaging where it's, like, taking us to another planet. Let's just keep it playing for a little bit you know what i'm saying so i like that shit and last but not least i like rappers that don't take themselves too serious and when i saw tom mcdonald gliding across the motherfucking where the congregation would be like a fucking fairy i was like yeah i, I fuck with this nigga because he like you know i fuck with like drake for instance for that for that reason you know what i mean drake don't take himself too serious drake could take a fucking picture with uh, waves going backwards and still be like this and just not take, you get what I'm saying? Like, Pusha T would never do that. He would never, like, you know what I'm saying? Get out of what people see him as character. You know what I'm saying? If you want to portray yourself as human, get out of character every now and then. You get what I'm saying? But it's the guy, G Holy Reverend, G Holy dot com. That's Tom McDonald Fighter, 1118. Go grab his shit, 1122. Only he is him. I'm out of here, man. Shout out. Listen, B-Boy style, made my stance in the game Hold up, D-Boy style, move them takes like Kane uh, My brother's keeper, not just in the rhyme Now tell me who flat top rule for 89 I'm a menace